Hello everybody, my name is Martel Sasir. Pleasure to meet you all by the way. Um the reason that I have created this video this be my second part during the 10 minute video of why I want to do IT work and that is very very simple because the job market is pretty much terrible and um, very difficult to find stable long term work employment and I say this wow many years ago but I say here officially um i got burned out and turned out by the the employment machine the economy and all that lack of uh a lack of well opportunities not having enough resources don't have no connections or anything and i'm sorry to come off a little negative i just want to start that video then go straight to the positive why i choose to do it technically I choose IT because I, well, I love computers, I love technology, um, I definitely love technology as well. I love working with computers and I'm also a gamer too, so I'm also a big gamer too. I want to always want to work on computers, build PCs and so forth. Um, the saddest, I want to say this. A little bit darker so my 15 years um that i'm 30 since i was 15 i always have a years of struggle of appointment a lot of um i've been really without job for like five years or so i remember this year when after i graduated from high school i've been applying for companies trying to get referrals and recommendations i can never get and i know my employment history is pretty much in the dumps basically I got no felonies, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, yeah, my employment history is pretty much hardly nothing. And a lot of them don't keep me because on the darker note too, I'm also disabled. So of course, I don't know why they discriminate me for it on the jobs throughout my years. I'm very fortunate I work at a temp service, but the problem with temp service, they just don't pay enough money at all. And I'm going constantly for like yearly years of just applying for jobs on and off consistent. I remember last year, I think, yeah, last year or two, I've been applying for like literally a thousand jobs on Indie uh, and so forth. That probably be similar with Snag a Job and just recently got the last door. And the problem with it is I literally get rejected like flat out. And I know I'll be having, I know this is a business channel, but I have to be a little personal to be real while I'm doing IT. Um, Looking for work has caused me none but anxiety and depression and so far I understand what the young, young youth is going for in their teenage years and going to their 20s or so. Um, I also want to learn IT. It's a good platform of a trade because computers are growing. Everybody's using computers now, even jobs is. And I probably have to say this in the uh, inconspicuable way possible that I said this many years ago that I hate looking for online jobs because everything, I never get a phone call. If I do get messages, I'm literally getting rejected left and right, and it's disgusting. And people say, just go out and apply. How can I apply where everything's online? And the way they got set up is pre pretty much impossible to... To get set up, it is virtually difficult to find stability like that when companies and this only see me as a number basically you want to see people's numbers they don't see your particular people that actually you want to stay for a long term I'm, i literally have to deal with job discrimination from harassment and bullying and a lot of it's mismanaging my money and so so that's also really i'm taking it and on the pot <clears throat> on the positive i'm um, to talk to one of my advisors from one of the course I'm gonna call uh, today. I just got called my other tech advisor, the other ones actually for the school, they got me signed to the pro, they just told me today, I'm at 50% completion, so I'm just watching my videos of how to manage, uh, you know, customize Windows 10 and part one, part two, quiz and this stuff. Yeah, I'm at uh, search to be IT technician. It's, I mean, it's 
very difficult to get into unless you are very uh, tech savvy, a big tech nerd. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, off the side of the negatives, and so um, that's pretty much what got me into IT because I just can't see myself being 30, 40, 50 years old looking for work or so because it's just not there anymore, you know. I wish someone had told me to take up a trade instead of going to a community college, and that's also another big hurdle I'm dealing with right now, actually, too, at the current moment, is I got scammed by a community college that scammed me exactly 10 years ago when I tried to apply for school, and they flat out rejected me. And also the biggest hurdle right now is paying back the bank or so with just my disability and tell money is not cutting it at all. And I know that right there is ruining my credit. So I'm hoping they just told me I should be done by spring before summer to get my IT certificate. And I'm hoping all this pays off too. So I'm just be honest with you guys, I'm a little bit uncertain because I'm not sure how far this works. I Pretty much opportunity is just not there where I'm currently located. It is not possible looking for work. And so here I am with IT is a great motivator to keep me actually occupied. I also gotta pay back the banks too, but um pay back the bank. A lot of money. Um so I'm hoping that I was told by my advisors that I could be making tons of money and opportunities and benefits and travel. Uh, truthfully, one day, someday, uh, I guess I want to get off a of disability. Uh, uh, I've been on disability most of my life, dealing with developing disabilities and learning disabilities. Some say it could be autism, but I don't want to actually put myself in a fraudulent activity and things. I just call learning disabilities. I've been in special education classes, and my school history, I'll be real, is not very good. But um, outside the negatives away, um, yeah, I'm definitely big on technology. I've been around technology for, I would say, part of my life. I would say definitely with video games, it's technology with uh, Sega Genesis. Nintendo 64, um, yeah, definitely Nintendo 64, uh, Nintendo GameCube, uh, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, um, Nintendo DS, and also my Nintendo Switch that I worked so hard to get. Um, I know it's a lot of copywriting music, but where I'm at, I just take a risk. So right now, currently, I'm just learning how to do tech work, learning to understand Windows and so much more. Sorry for the noisy background. I'm not even home, you can tell. And I don't like being at home because keep that aside, the darkness aside, the negativity aside is not very good for me. Just being in isolation. Um, going on here. I'm big on technology. Actually, what got me inspired technology is travel. I love to travel. I love to interact. I love to see things. I love to just get in my curiosity peaks me of what I really wanted to do. Uh, IT tech, I'm very excited. I'm really hoping this pays off because there is no other options where I'm at. The job's just not there. I have went to disability uh, assistance if you ever know it's Ohio with disabilities, they don't do squat for me, can I just say that? They don't do jack diggity do for me as far as employment. They pretty much lazy. So uh definitely IT, I definitely big on actually I wanna check out if I know how to understand, if I wish I could understand Japanese, I would love to go to Japan and just visualize so much of the high advanced technology there. Um also, I'm big on anime. I'm very, I love anime. Um, I love to travel. I love to eat. As you can tell, I love to eat. Speaking of food, I some chips or so. Because I really don't feel like being home. Pretty much.
for me, so seven, nine, eleven. Oh, in 15 minutes? That's good. Cool. I'll do 15 minutes. Yeah, I just want to say, well, I'm looking forward to the IT information technology as long term and stability. Because employment is just not going to last long, especially the live environments. Well, where I'm at from Toledo, Ohio, is a very small uh, city, and the job redundancy is not. Jobs are very redundant. They don't hire anything. Um, I said it back in my last video many years ago that it's difficult to find jobs. So I'm looking for a long-term career that is going to pay off very soon, eventually. Thank you for watching. Mr. Martell is here. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And also, please uh, help me to get 100 subscribers by, by March as well as my year ago of 2020 is to get 1,000 subscribers and 400 watch hours to make the channel grow. So thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. Sincere, a sincere dude, Artist Sincere. Thank you.